Here's a peek behind the scenes into the painting process that I used to work on the art for Hanukkah nights. So this is my basic setup. I have two paint palettes like this. One is, this is my cool colors, and then I have another one that is for my warm colors, and I created a grid that lines up with all of these paint colors so I can see what color it's going to look like. And then in here, I tried to do really watery to pretty thick so I can see the variations that I can get if I'm using them straight out of the tube and not mixing them. So that's where I always start. And these are all um, tube watercolors and I usually use Winsor Newton. Um, then I just drew some dreidels on here. This is what I'm gonna show you. And then sometimes when I'm using a lot of a color, I will put it into one of these little dishes. Then one really, really important thing when you're painting with watercolors is to not get grease, AKA body lotion, hand lotion, onto your paper because if you do, the paint won't absorb and it goes really weird. So if I'm ever painting, and I'm right-handed, so if I'm gonna be painting on this one, I'll be leaning on this one. So I always put a piece of paper over here and just kind of work from left to right or move my paper around. So one of the trickiest things when you're working on a new painting is trying to decide on the color. So I'll usually just do a couple little color swatches and then add water and show how it's gonna bleed out if I do it thinner. And this color is actually called Payne's Gray. I use it a lot for blues. It's very neutral. And then when I go to Photoshop, I can often put a brighter color if I wanna increase the saturation. Now, another one that I like for this, for this purpose, and I think this is the one that I used mostly for this collection is Windsor Blue from Windsor Newton Red Shade. They have a couple different ones, so it's brighter. It's a little bit, if we're going Goldilocks, this is a little too gray of a blue, and this is a little too bright. So I might just mix some of it together in one of these little empty spots here. And let's see what that does. So that's a darker, it's got more blue in it than this. So I'm just gonna play around. And sometimes I will, I'll mix right in my, in my painting. So I always go, when I'm painting, I always work in the section of the painting. So instead of covering this whole thing, I'll pretend, okay, I'm gonna paint this, this side of the dreidel first, because this one's going to be a little bit of a different shade than this side over here. And so I always just get a, a basic wash down for the section. And then you'll see some spots are keeping a little bit more water and color. And so if I'm good with that, I just leave it. If I want it to be a little bit different than how it's coming out with the initial wash, I can rinse my brush. So say I want a little less color here. This has no, no color on it and very little water. So I can just kind of use it to sop up some of the water and color and make a lighter spot there. So watercolor, it's very, dynamic and you kind of learn what works for you and your style, but at the same time, you never quite know what's going to happen, which I think is kind of fun. So then I'm just gonna add a little bit more of this bright color in here and let that mix in right on my dreidel. So you'll see because it's wet, it's kind of bleeding around. All right, now I don't wanna to do too much more to that because I don't want it to get muddy and it's a little bit too juicy there. So we're gonna let that dry and see what happens. And I may come back to it and put a little bit more color over the top of that. But now I'm just gonna to go to a different section. Now this top section is gonna be a lot darker. So I'm gonna work just with this straight Payne's Gray and kind of full color but the most important thing is if I don't want it to bleed down into this, I need to not touch that top edge because here's what'll happen. So because this is wet, if I put more next to it that's wet, see how it just bleeds right up, which sometimes you want. That's great when you're like 
putting trees into a background, but it's not what I'm looking for on this dreidel. So I'm going to be really careful to get close to that line, but not touch it, hopefully. Oh, you also might notice that I'm not putting the symbols on this dreidel, and that is on purpose. I often paint and do things in layers and then layer it, layer the hand painted objects together in Photoshop. Because if I paint this and have the, the symbols in it, then that's just the way it is. It's one dreidel. But if I paint it this way and add the symbols later, I can make two different ones based on what symbols I choose to put on there. And so that's just a little bit too wet. So I'm just gonna stop that up again. But see how now the, the darker on the top and the lighter and a little darker, it's giving it some dimension.